We are here in Miami, UFC 287 Media Day, and I'm with Adrian Yanez, who has a very big bantamweight fight on Saturday, of course, against your opponent, who is? Rob, uh, Rob Font, yes, sir. That's right, Rob Font. You can probably make some uh, jokes about the fonts and <laughs> Comic Sans and, and all that uh, type of stuff. Oh, yeah, no, my favorite one is This is Fantastic. <laughs> it's so it, stupid, it's so stupid, but it was hilarious, but yeah. You're a pun guy like me. I know you are, Adrian. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so this is a really big fight for the bantamweight division, and uh, I think it's a fight that's kind of up your alley in some in some respects, right? He's a striker. You're a striker. You guys have some of the best boxing in the division. Both of you guys. Are you excited about that aspect of it? Oh yeah, 100. Uh, percent There's there's a lot of aspects that I love about this fight, just because he's uh he made his pro debut. He made his UFC debut whenever I was making my pro debut. And then also he's been in the game for so long. He's one of the best boxers in the UFC. And me, I'm trying to stake my claim as the best boxer in the UFC. So this this fight makes perfect sense for me. And then also too, you know, I, I consider him a legend and it's a big step up for me as well. So on my end, man, there's it's all looking up for me. So I it's it's a win win situation for me because I gotta go out there, I gotta put it put an uh put a statement on this win and you know, go out there and finish Rob. In some ways, probably the biggest fight so far for you in the UFC, right? The, tough, the toughest uh, oh. challenge. Oh, 100%. Rob Font is 100% the most toughest test of my career, and, and I'm ready to take that test. Like, I really I really am. Like, I studied for it. I've been been here. I've been prepping for this moment. So, yeah, I'm 100% ready for that Rob Font test. So your resume looks great so far in the UFC. You won five in a row, four of them by finish. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, But the division, I mean, for, for my money, bantamweight is the best division in the world. I don't think there's anything anything better. And it's crowded at the top. So so what do you have to do to kind of, you know, make your way in a, in a very crowded, uh, you know, hierarchy at 135? So you, I have to go out there and make a statement against Font. I, I have to let everybody know that I'm here and I'm not going anywhere. So that's, that is my plan, stopping Font. And then after that, the division is going to sort itself out. There's, it's kind of a log jam right now. And no, and, it's kind of like in this weird position where I just, you kind of got to watch it play out for the next couple months, you know, especially with the title fight going on. But for me, I know my my plan is just to make a big statement and let everybody know I'm here because, you know, I break into that top 10, top five. I'm, I'm a fight away from, from achieving my dreams and, you know, changing my family's life. And that's exactly what I want to do. So that, you know, I'm going to let the division play out, but I'm still going to accomplish what I need to accomplish. And you have the kind of style, like the exciting style that fans want to see that can get you ahead, even in a crowded division. So you'll probably be leaning on that, I imagine. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. Like, I know the crowd loves I know the crowd loves my fighting style. Again, five five fights in the UFC, all all bonuses, you know, and I, I feel like that's the type of style that everybody else likes. Look, you can name three other people that have five bonuses off 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 of uh, their UC debuts from like one to five. And I think that one is Anderson, the other one's Justin Gaethje, and the other one's Hamza. So to me, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm, in a group, I'm in a group of my own with these guys, you know, so this is pretty, that's pretty cool, you know, and I think the fans love it, you know, and if you haven't seen me fight, they need to see me fight because I'm telling you, there's no stopping me once I get going. Those are definitely quality names that you mentioned and all guys that are, you know, champions or title contenders. So I think that you'll probably be there before long as well. Uh, speaking of titles, your, your division, there's a title fight coming up in a few weeks in Newark, uh, UFC 288, mm -hmm. uh, Aljamain Sterling versus Henry Sudo. Who wins that fight? That is a tough one to call because uh, I've trained with Aljo and I see Henry's mind. He's, he's really big into uh, his MMA IQ is very high. And Aljo is just too. Like, I don't think Aljo gets enough credit in that sense. You know, I've trained with Aljo. Aljo is definitely one of the best grapplers I've ever faced, faced ever, like, and trained with. So uh, knowing that, Knowing that I know Henry is, uh, is like he game plans around everything, and so does Aljo. It's gonna be a tac tactical fight, but it's gonna be like an unorthodox versus an orthodox type of fight. So for me, I usually lean towards the orthodox, but I will say like this: if it stays standing, I believe Henry gets the nod. But if it goes to the ground, I don't think anybody survives on the ground with Aljo. Very interesting. Um, last thing, Adrian. On uh, Monday, Endeavor, the UFC's parent company, announced that. It was acquiring WWE, and uh, the UFC and WWE are merging together. Just saying that on, on camera is actually kind of a surreal thing to say, a little bizarre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Nah, that's pretty cool, man, and hopefully I get to wrestle Dominic Reyes once uh, Rey Mysterio, you know, Rey Mysterio and Dominic uh, Mysterio, you know, that'd be pretty cool, you know, legends and idols, you know, but nah, I know that's not going to happen, but that's just a, sh that's just shot, a shot in the dark, but no, nah, it's pretty cool, man, it, it, just to see how far the company's grown, to see where the uh, company valued at $12 billion, I'm like, oh, sh 
you know, us fighters, you know, we went out there and we, we made statements every single time and, you know, and people keep tuning in to watch us fight, you know, so that's pretty cool, man. I love that. And the fact that the WWE, we merged, it, it was a whole merger. I think that's wild. That's surreal because, you know, back whenever this first started, whenever it was Zufa, like, you know, whenever it was bought for one million, now it's like, psh, nah, it's just a crazy story. Someone could write a movie about it. For sure. Uh did you watch uh, the Mysterios match at oh, WrestleMania? Oh yeah, definitely. You're a fan. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm more of a casual watcher. I would <laughs> say I used to be a way bigger fan back in the day, but now I'm just like a casual watcher. I have family members that are like, head like diehards. They know exactly, and they they keep me up to date on it. So yeah, uh, for me, I was watching WrestleMania. I actually, man, you know one person I was really impressed with, Logan Paul. Logan Paul, like he was a phenomenal wrestler. I, you know, he doesn't get he doesn't get credit in the wrestling world, but yeah, that. He definitely deserves it. You gonna bring a lucha mask maybe on on Saturday for the fight against Rob? Oh. You know, if I had a good one, <laughs> if I had a good one, if I didn't have my natural Libra one, you know, I, I would have brought one. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.